To win, and they did. Because of that, we as members of the Central States District sit here tonight basking in their accomplishment and offering to everyone a tribute to the champions. Well, let's get started. Under the direction of Jim Henry, the International Chorus Champions, the Ambassadors of Harmony. some of our favorite songs, and though they come in all varieties, they have one thing in common, great a cappella harmonies, because we strive for that zing we can bring. Now listen carefully to our story. We're going to tell you how harmony really began. Now when the Lord, when the Lord invented the chord, it sounded, and then he listened again, then he cried, he cried, cried out with delight. I'm so elated, I just created harmony, harmony. Thank you, Lord, for harmony. It brightens up the day, steals the heart away. Teasing, compelling, troubles dispelling, rising and swelling, it's in us to stay. Dancing over tones, tingling our bones, ever higher and higher, they carry us away. Harmony, harmony, we hail the name of harmony, harmony forever. Never had a friend like me. 
for a crowd exactly like you, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you so very much for that incredible reception. Actually, I think you went above and beyond, and uh, we thank you for it more than I think you'll ever know. And thanks also, honestly and sincerely, all of you who are in the audience that are representing the Central States District of Barbershop Harmony Singers. Uh, you guys, we felt the support of our district, of our home district, I know that every district probably thinks they're the best. There's no question. You gotta come to the Midwest. It's the Central States District. That's where everything happens. And we thank you all for the and Just thank you. Please know that every one of you from our district was up there on stage with us in Anaheim, California. We, we really uh, are going to try to wear this. Uh, it's been obviously, obviously been a very surreal experience for this chorus, uh, something that was way beyond our wildest dreams. And we're just so proud to be able to come back here and share our, share our music with you and, and uh, just uh, hope, that, hope that you enjoy everything you hear tonight. Uh, we're gonna sing a song now that uh, I just love, love to death. David Wright arranged this song. I don't know if any of you know, but David does some arranging on the side. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so we thought we'd, you know, we thought we'd let him try out some of his arrangements on us here. <laughs> Actually, both, most everything you hear tonight was <laughs> arranged by David. And this is one of, I think, his most beautiful songs. Uh, it's just kind of an old folk tale from, I think, a Canadian group, right, David? And it's called Fare Thee Well.
of La Mancha, as you know, is the story of a Spanish gentleman named Alonzo Quijano, a country squire, no longer young, bony, hollow-faced, eyes that burn with the fire of inner vision. And being retired, he has much time for books. He studies them from morning till night, and sometimes through the night as well. And all that he reads oppresses him, fills him with indignation of man's evil ways towards man. He broods and broods and broods until finally, from all that brooding, his brains dry up. He lays down the melancholy burden of sanity and conceives the strangest adventure ever imagined, to become a knight errant and go forth into the world to right all wrongs. No longer will he be known as Alonso Quijano, but a dauntless knight known as Don Quixote de la Mancha. <laughs> Did you enjoy that part? Well, thank you so much. We enjoyed you. 
And we felt as though in Anaheim, we kind of tilted at a few windmills also, but we came out pretty successfully, I think. Yes, we, we conquered that windmill. And you are so good, but we're going to uh, have something else for you now. That Although Ring of Fire sounds somewhat ominous, the term refers to falling in love, which is what June Carter was experiencing with Johnny Cash at the time the two of them wrote the song together in 1963. Now some sources claim June saw the phrase, love is like a burning ring of fire, underlined in a book of poetry. Whatever inspired the song, it was the biggest hit of Johnny Cash's career, staying at number one for over seven weeks. In many ways, the song is the life story of Johnny Cash. Besides the people he loved, knew, and sang about, it's, it's the most mythical American tale of growing up in simple, dirt-poor surroundings in the heartland of America, leaving home, traveling on wings of music, finding love, misadventure, success, faith, redemption, and love of a good woman. It's a song about the transforming power of love, Ring of Fire. David Wright, he does uh, a little bit of arranging on the side. Uh, we're now going to sing a song, one of the very few songs in the Ambassadors of Harmony repertoire that was not arranged by David Wright. Um, I know, you already sound disappointed we haven't even sung it yet. 
Uh, but actually, this is a song by another great musical master by the name of uh, Robert Shaw. Actually, Robert Shaw and Alice Parker worked together to do this fantastic arrangement of an old uh, English folk song, which I'm sure many of you will remember. I'm going to bring out to direct this song right now, Johnny Maroney. Uh, and I think you'll know the song when you hear it.
Christmas Day of 1896, the famous band leader and composer John Philip Sousa uh, composed what would become by far his most famous work. It was the Stars and Stripes Forever March. And his band performed many years after that and was never able to perform a single performance without including that number as part of uh, a part of the show because it was so popular with his audiences. We are going to sing for you now the Stars and Stripes Forever March. This is not something you should try at home. <laughs> and it's a little known fact that uh, Sousa did in fact write some lyrics for this piece, uh, but not for the whole thing. So when this arrangement was created, uh, that was a problem. As our director is fond of saying, when you sing a cappella, lyrics come in handy. <laughs> so we had to add a few. And uh, the arrangement, actually, many of you will recognize, was created for a, a great quartet called Acoustics, recorded a, num a number of years ago. And we had the honor of singing this in Anaheim. Some of you may have been there on a stage, not even on the stage. The stage wouldn't hold us in front of the stage with the vo Dallas Vocal Majority and the Masters of Harmony from Los Angeles, all three choruses there singing. That was an honor. And so we're going to, uh, one thing I should tell you uh, further about the arrangement, it really was meant to be, to have a, a percussion accompaniment. So our percussionist, Mr. Scott Spilker, is going to accompany us. <laughs> Scott Wilson, Scott Spilker's sitting out there someplace. <laughs> That's the second time I've made that mistake. He's the bald one. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that. Anyway, we're just going to sing. Sorry about that. <laughs> Red and white and starry blue stream out of the meadow so high. 
Every heart will sing of our as all across the land we raise our voices far and near for all to hear the echo of the chorus grand. Every heart will swell with pride to sing of our liberty, sing of our destiny as the joy we now extol the flag waving over the land. Let us all hail the flag in one bar or let us cheer it with fervent elation. It's the flag of the born and as bold and beautiful. like Conan O'Brien. <laughs> we feel so fortunate to have the talent that we have in this chorus. Of Harmony set a record, scoring the most points ever on the international contest stage. Tonight we get to experience what <laughs>
should suddenly run dry if you love me really love me let it happen I won't care if it seems that everything is lost I will smile and never count the cost.